And welcome to Greater Higher Hope Temple, where the beauty of holiness flows. I am Lady Tan, and I will be singing songs of worship, followed by the word of God from our pastor, Elder Albert L. Tan. Again, thank you for watching, and we know your soul will be blessed. It's been a long
He loved us so much that he went to Calvary for us. And we love the Lord on today. We love him because of who he is. Not just what he's done. He's done so many great things. But we love him for who he is. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Uh, 
Uh, we got to continue to wear our masks, pray for the Lord. And uh, one of the things that we know, amen, uh, there's so many restrictions in the world today, pray for the Lord. See somebody without a mask, amen, just go the other way, pray for the Lord, and let the law take care of, of those type things. Truly, God is good. I thank and praise Him for the word for this morning. Don't uh, plan on being before you long, but there is a word from the Lord. Amen. Because uh, we need the word in times like these. Amen. We need, amen, a word because uh, the enemy comes in, amen, to steal our joy. He comes in, amen, to try to make us feel like we're all alone. Amen. But God, amen, he's right there by our side. So I want to ask you, amen, to stand this morning. Uh, the passage of scripture is very familiar, praise the Lord. Uh, we look at this all the time, we read it, praise the Lord, we quote it all the time. Uh, but first, the time is this, amen. God has given us a word, amen, from Romans, uh, the eighth chapter, amen, marking your Bibles, amen, verse number one. And for the sake of time, we're going to jump down to verse 18, and then we're going to start at verse 31 through 39. Amen. Romans, the eighth chapter, verse number one, amen, verse number 18. And we're going to jump down to verse number 31. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, we thank you for your grace and your mercies. My God, we thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you, God, for being able to stand before the people today. We thank you, my God, just for health and strength. Now, as we stand here to preach your word, my God, send forth your anointings in the name of Jesus. That someone cry out to what must I do to be saved? Somebody's soul might be uplifted on today in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father. We praise you right now. In Jesus' name, and our souls say amen and amen. Again, our scripture this morning is taken from Romans, the 8th chapter. Amen. It's starting in verse number 1, and we're going to skip to what we said. Therefore, he says in chapter uh, number 8, number 1, verse 1, he says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Verse number 18. He says, For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Going down, praise the Lord. A lot of us are so familiar with this. He says, Number 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Verse 32. He spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How should he not be with him also free to give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Verse 34. Who is he that condemneth? It is that Christ died, yea, rather he rise again. Who is even at the right hand of God, who also made an intercessory for us? 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distresses, persecution or famine or nakedness or peril of soul? As it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. He says, Nay. In all of these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. And if I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, neither height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. You can see it in the presence of the Lord. Again, we thank and praise God, amen, for the word, for those that hear, amen, and for those that read it, amen. He says, amen, just don't be a hearer, amen, but be a doer as well. The title, amen, for us today, uh, for the body of Christ, is very simple. It says, these things shall not move me. These things, amen, shall not move me. When you begin to look, amen, at this scripture, amen, here uh, in Romans, the eighth chapter, it deals with, amen, uh, it talks about us being more than conquerors, amen, and also it talks about, amen, uh, dealing with the sin issue. 
So we find here it's very important, uh, not only just you read those uh, few last verses in there, but when you look at this scripture as a whole, praise the Lord. Paul begins to say this thing, and he asks the question, amen, in verse number 31. He said, what shall we say to these things? Praise the Lord. What shall we say to these things? When you look back, amen, at verse number 18, amen, he begins to talk about the suffering, amen, at this present time. Meaning that saints of God, we're going to be under attack, and we're going to be confronted with a lot of things. Uh, I know, praise the Lord, as we go through this pandemic, uh, some things, amen, that befall the saints of God uh, uh, that we never thought would be possible. We are isolated one from another. And so he asked the question, amen, what then shall we say? What shall we say of these things, amen? Uh, it's a question that only you can answer as a saint of God. But what we got to understand is sometimes, faith in God, when we ask these questions, uh, someone is ready to give us the answer. But if you think in your mind, amen, you got to realize, amen, that I'm not going to let these things, praise you to God, move me. We're familiar with these things, amen. Uh, sometimes uh, the sorrow, praise you to the Lord, uh, it comes to us. It knocks on our door, praise the Lord. Uh, uh, it invades our home, our privacy, uh, the place that we feel most comfortable, amen. Uh, sometimes, like disappointments. Not to our door, glory be to God. Uh, just the burdens of everyday life come to us. Even sickness, amen, and disease when it attacks our bodies. These are some of those things. Uh, even when we have a tragic loss of a loved one. Uh, these are some of the things, amen, that the saints of God are facing now on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, sometimes, amen, anxiety attacks us. Uh, from where sometimes we don't even know, praise be to God. Uh, but what shall we say to these things? Uh, now, amen, that we are suffering through COVID-19 pandemic, uh, but this temporary new norm, uh, racial tension, these are the things, amen, that the saints of God are suffering. Uh, he says here, so what shall we then say to these things? Uh, uh, the answer, amen, lies within the saint of God. Uh, for the body of Christ, amen, the answer that Paul begins to answer this thing for us. Uh, I'm sure at some point in our lives, amen, we've answered, amen, I've heard of these words before. Uh, uh, that's not the answer that I wanted to hear. In the midst of what I'm going through, that's not the answer. Uh, if you remember, amen, uh, Job, when he was going through, uh, they came to him and said, listen, Job, uh, you're only reaping what you have sown. Uh, they said, confess your faults, amen, uh, confess your sins, and his wife says, amen, it's God's fault, and you ought to curse him and die. Uh, at that time, amen, that Job was going through those things, uh, that was not the answer uh, that he wanted to hear, amen. Uh, what they should have been telling him, amen, that don't let these things, amen, move you. Uh, so for the body of Christ, amen, uh, we got to realize, amen, that no matter what we're going through in this present age, amen, uh, we cannot allow these things, amen, to move us yes. from God. Uh, uh, we cannot allow, amen, the adversary to cause them to come so downtrodden, amen, that we move from our relationship with the true and living God. Uh, I hear the mother Amen. I used to sing the song, amen. Uh, through it all, amen. I've learned, amen, to trust in God. Uh, and so, what we're going through now as people of God, uh, we got to realize, amen, that I'm going to trust God. Uh, through it all, amen, I will trust God, amen, uh, and not waver in my faith, amen. The yeah. Bible said a double minded person is unstable in all his ways. Uh, so, as I learn to trust God, amen, in what I'm going through, uh, sometimes, amen, we ask the question of our young children sometimes, uh, what did you learn, amen, from the mistake, glory be to God? Uh, and then begin to rehearse, I learned, amen, and, uh, that sometimes I can't trust my friends. Uh, and sometimes the saints of God, uh, the question is, what have you learned, praise be to God, uh, during this pandemic, amen? Uh, you've got to understand in your mind uh, that these things are not going to move me. Uh, uh, that's not the end of the response uh, that I want to hear. Uh, sometimes, man, people mean well when they respond. Uh, they say, listen, I know you don't want to hear this, uh, uh, but it's what you need. Uh, but I'm here to tell you, man, thank God, I mean, the Apostle Paul, uh, he told them, amen, uh, he said these things, amen, these suffering, amen, uh, should not move us, amen, uh, uh, from the presence of God. Uh, why, amen, because we serve a God uh, who's 
our master, glory be to God. Uh, we serve a God, amen, that, that is sovereign uh, in all things that he does. Uh, uh, so he said, what shall we say uh, to do these things? Uh, if God, if God, if God before us, amen, uh, who can be against us? Uh, yeah. I know, amen, that in the English language, glory be to God, uh, that's a super word, uh, if, amen. Uh, but when you begin to look at what that word means, uh, and you need to ask us, amen, uh, suggest a question, amen, uh, or to doubt, uh, if I uh, see you tomorrow, uh, if I'm able to do this, that, and the other, uh, uh, but when you look at the Greek word, amen, uh, it has a formal meaning of what the English means. Uh, it means, amen, something that is true, amen, uh, something that is true, uh, and so what Paul says, amen, uh, he says if, amen, but he's not saying in a doubt, amen, situation, uh, he's a confirming, amen, that God uh, is for us, amen, uh, and God is on our side. Uh, no yeah. matter who or what it is that's against us, amen, uh, God is for you. Uh, clap your hands, amen, and give God some praise. Uh, but now we got to realize, amen, uh, to look back over our lives. Uh, we got to recall some things to our minds uh, and to remember, glory be to God, uh, what God has done for us. Uh, and that was the verse number 32, amen. Uh, they begin to read here. Uh, it says this, amen, a very important thing. Uh, it says the sense of God. Uh, it says he spared not his own son, uh, but delivered for us all. Uh, glory be to God. Uh, I've seen and I've heard times, amen, uh, when the mother's son, amen, was in jail, amen, uh, uh, locked up in a morgue and got home, glory be to God, uh, to put up just to get that son out of there. Uh, that's the love, amen, uh, of a mother. Uh, uh, but look what God did for us, amen. Uh, the Bible says he spared not his own son, uh, but delivered him up, amen, uh, for us all. Uh, the apostles carried the saints of God. Uh, I don't think we really understand uh, what that was all about, amen. Uh, and how cruel it was, amen, for him uh, to hang that amen, uh, on that cross. Uh, but the word of God says, amen, uh, he did that for us, amen. Uh, he spared not his only son uh, for us all. Uh, this is what God did for us. Uh, this is the epitome of the love that God has, amen, for the saints of God. Uh, the cross, amen, is a very simple thing uh, of what sacrifice and love really mean. Uh, uh, but none of these things, amen, uh, are going to move me on today. Uh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus, uh, and all that he's done for me, uh, my very soul cries out, uh, Hallelujah! I thank God uh, for saving me. Uh, so when I begin to look back and see uh, what God has done, uh, my mind goes a little far and look what the God uh, that we serve will do. Uh, he said, He, my God, uh, shall not be within free to give us uh, all things. Uh, what Paul begins to say here, uh, he said, Listen here, uh, uh, if God met our greatest need, uh, because sin that begins to separate us uh, from the love of God. Uh, sin calls, amen, uh, a division between man and God. Uh, and so now, amen, that God is saying here, uh, he said, listen, uh, I sent forth my son, uh, burned the virgin glory be to God. Ah, uh, uh, yes, he did. Uh, he walked the face of earth for 33 and a half years, amen, uh, only to be the end to die uh, on the cross, amen. Uh, but God did not stop there. Uh, he rose again the third day uh, according to the scriptures, amen. Uh, so God met the needs of man Kind, uh, we need a savior, and the only one uh, that could do it was Jesus Christ, and uh, so now, therefore, the same problem uh, that we dealt with, and uh, has been dealt with, uh, and so God is uh, died on the cross, uh, yes, He did, uh, uh, to meet the needs of somebody else, and uh, not just Himself, and uh, He said all things. Uh, what are we saying? Uh, the suffering of this present time, uh, sin has been dealt with, uh, but what the adversary wants to do, I mean, uh, He wants to cause it uh, to go back to a carnal state. Uh, in other words, he wants to get within ourselves. Uh, he wants to have a pity party, man, uh, so we forget about what God uh, did for us in it, uh, a long time ago, uh, and the reason why he came. Uh, he came to seek and save uh, that which was lost in it, and, uh, and so he says here, uh, he says, so the carnal mind uh, is death, uh, but to be spiritual mind uh, is life and peace in it. Uh, but when the enemy comes, uh, he wants to shake your foundation in it. Uh, he wants you to forget what God has done.
relationship with God. Huh? That's what Isaiah begins to say huh? in the 54th chapter, verse number 17. He says, no weapon huh, that is formed against thee. Huh? He says, it shall not prosper, my God. Huh? He says, every talk huh, might not arise against thee, huh? and judgment shall be condemned. Huh? But this is the part that I like now. Huh? He says, this is the inheritance huh, of the saints of God. Huh? Glory be to God. Huh? This is inheritance. Huh? In other words, of the most high God. Uh, oh, as an inheritor, amen, uh, that belongs to us, amen. Uh, he is now righteousness uh, above me. Uh, and he said, thus say the Lord. Uh, in other words, God is telling us, amen. Uh, he said, no weapon, amen, uh, that is all against you uh, is going to prosper you. Uh, uh, it's not going to harm you, my God. Uh, sometimes we're going to need some ups and downs. Uh, he said, but that thing should not cause you, amen, uh, to move from the love of God. Uh, Thank you. So we face, my God, uh, the adversary, uh, these things. God, huh? These things, my God, whatever the thing that you're going through right now, oh huh? uh, God, huh? because He's spared out His own son, man, huh? and He will do a greater thing on huh? us. Huh? And that's what Peter begins to say. Huh? He said, "Be sold and be vicious, huh? He said, "Because you're adversary the devil, huh? as a roaring lion, huh? walking about seeking huh? whom he may devour." Huh? What are you going on? Huh? What is he trying to devour? Huh? He's trying to steal the faith huh? of the saints of God. Huh? He's trying to about uh, to stop you from walking by faith uh, and not by sight. Uh, he's trying to cause you man, uh, to sever your relationship uh, with the true living God. Uh, he's trying to separate us uh, from the little God uh, that is in Christ Jesus. Uh, so we get to realize amen, uh, that the adversary man, uh, he's charged as the elect of God. Uh, but the verse says in 33 uh, he said, Who shall lay anything uh, to the charge uh, of God's elect? Amen. Uh, he said, It is he uh, that can do it. Uh, Oh, that's it. 
if you're frustrated to say to God, uh, he will use all kinds of suffering and uh, to cause you uh, uh, to separate from God uh, because the same issue uh, has been dealt with. Uh, but now if I can get you to walk in and uh, in my carnality, uh, if I can get you in and uh, to act up in the flesh and uh, because God is going to judge uh, the deeds that are done uh, in this body. Uh, and so how does he do it? Uh, he does it through tests and trials. Uh, and that's what the scripture says here. Uh, in verse 35 uh, and 36, uh, it's a list of glory to God. Uh, but it's not all the proof. He uh, said tribulations, uh, the stresses and persecutions. Uh, he said famine and maintenance and prayer. Uh, he said a sword. Uh, we will kill all day long. Uh, and shoot before the slaughter. Uh, but there's a thing uh, that God does. Uh, that Paul begins to say this thing. Uh, he said many uh, glory be to God. Uh, and what that name means. Uh, he said but. It's not. 
What about now that we're saved? What about the need that we, Lord, I need to uplift the God's I'm right there? Yes, Lord. My God. Lord, I'm a little Lord of faith. I'll be right there. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. So, saints, what shall we say to these things? To the people of God, these things should not move us. Amen. Because God has been too good to us. Let us pray. Father, in the precious name of Jesus, my God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, my God, even just for the word of God on today. Yes, Lord. These things, whatever they are, my God, they are not going to cause us to move. They are not going to separate us from your love. We're going to walk by faith and not by sight. We're going to continue on, amen. Uh, we're going to fight the good fight of faith, amen. Uh, we're going to be in what you call us to be uh, in these last and evil days. Uh, sure, my God, uh, this thing will apart us. Uh, but you say the words, I'm going to leave you nor forsake you. Uh, somebody's going through, amen. But God, you're faithful, amen, uh, to bring them through. You're faithful, my God, to touch their bodies. Uh, you're faithful, my God, to lift their spirits. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you right now. In Jesus' name, and our souls is amen. And amen. God bless you. In Jesus' name.